Russia is no more enthusiastic. Russia has made it clear there is no question of any country getting any veto power. United States of America, despite the joint statements and what was said here and in the last visit, has been ambivalent, has not been unequivocal. And if you read the decision of 14th of September of the UNGA, there is not even a mention of any country. That's why I said this nation is being misled as Modi has started some new initiative. G4 hosting G4 is nothing new. G4 have met many times in the past. Many times even when Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji was the Prime Minister, Angela Merkel was the Chancellor. Britain, the present Prime Minister has supported and France has supported us in the past, but there is no clarity when it comes to the final formula. India's respect in Silicon Valley was not acknowledged only when they heard of Shri Narendra Modi or the BJP government. It has been there for decades, and let's respect that contribution. The economy of India is $8 trillion, and I will take it to $20 trillion. Yes that is achievable for India. But when UPA left office, India's GDP was $2.27 trillion. India's GDP today is close to 2.50. That's the nominal GDP of India. It's not $8 trillion. $8 trillion is not the GDP even of China, the nominal GDP. So the Prime Minister of India and his officials and his minders should give him the right papers at the right time so that he does not make such claims. Because he is not speaking in a private dining room or not reporting to the RSS leadership. The whole world is watching what the Prime Minister of India has claimed. He has also said that after he has come and his make in India, which is neither his original vision, as we have said, is rebranding and repackaging of four pre-existing major national initiatives, the National Manufacturing Policy, the National Investment Manufacturing Zones, that's the manufacturing standalone integrated green cities of the future which stood notified, the four industrial corridors of India, the Invest India initiative between the government and the industry, and the last one being the eBiz project, which stood commissioned in 2013 and finally the platform for the common delivery of services on 2014.